Welcome back to Ramseyland. Today, Alex is going to synthesize hexamethylene tetramine, commonly called hexamine, using 20 milliliters of formaldehyde and 80 milliliters of ammonia. Now he's going to raise the volume to 100 milliliters with his ammonia. And this is an exothermic reaction. Hexamine has all kinds of interesting purposes. It's used as a fuel source in the military to heat campers' food because it burns smokeless and it burns for a long time. In some countries, it's actually used as a food preservative. Fortunately, not in the United States. When hexamine decomposes, it turns into an acid that's actually used to treat urinary tract infections. And so it should be giving off some heat right about now. It's exothermic, and he's going to pour it into the corningware, and we're going to let it evaporate until it turns into a white crystal. And then we're going to test it. So Alex, go ahead and add your hexamine into the corningware. Awesome, we're just gonna let that evaporate and crystallize. Okay, so at this point, we're really excited because we're gonna start harvesting our hexamine. And you can see that these little crystals here, that we're grinding up, that's hexamine. And it has an incredible amount of energy, up to 30 K joules per kilogram. It'll burn for a long time without any smoke and it burns very hot, and we're gonna test it. Okay, there's our hexamine. You can see it burning. And there's no smoke coming off of it. And that'll burn for a long time. And again, this is used by the military to heat their food while they're camping. It's a great source of energy. There, it's really going now. Homemade hexamine in Ramsey land.